Hi, my name is Nick, and this tooltip is on using the Floor and Foundation Builder Wizard. If you want to create a new location that has completely different walls and elements than the location you have already drawn, you will want to use the Floor and Foundation Builder Wizard. This tool will allow you to specify the exact elements you want to use. To use this command, I'm going to go up to and select Insert Design Wizards and I'm going to select the Floor and Foundation Builder. This will bring up a Floor and Foundation Builder Wizard dialog box and it's a welcome screen. Here we can just say Next. Now we're able to choose the location or the level type that we want to be creating. So as you can see I can create a whole new floor level or I can create a foundation level and we're going to do both. So I'm going to select floor level and I want to create a new second floor above my brick walls and I want those walls to be using a siding instead of brick. So the first thing I need to do is I need to specify that I want this to be on the correct location. So I want this to be a floor level but I want it to be on the second floor. And then I'm going to click Next. I can then choose the type of wall that I want to be creating. Am I creating a cavity wall, a stacked wall, or a suspended or ballooned framed wall? I want this to be just a cavity wall, so I'm going to select Cavity. The type of wall that I want to use is going to be a 2x6 cement board panel wall. I'm going to say OK. And my floor is going to be a hardwood floor and I'm going to say OK. This now defines the type of wall and floor I want to use for my second floor location. I click Next. I can also offset this a distance away from the wall below if I want to as well. I'm going to leave mine at zero, but if you wanted to you could type in your distance here and then offset this towards the inside or outside. I'm going to say Next and Finish. And now when we look at our second floor, we can see that it's created a new set of walls on our second floor. And when we look at it in 3D, we can see those walls on our second floor. Now we do need to create a filler for our wall from our second floor. So I'm going to simply select my wall on the second floor, right click, select all similar, and this will select all of the walls on that location, right click again, and go into properties and I'm just going to make that lower exterior face bottom 10 inches. And I'm going to say OK and it will now drop that down and cover that floor cavity for us. I'm going to go back into 2D and I'm going to go back to the ground floor and we're going to use that floor and foundation builder again to create a foundation plan. I'm going to select insert design wizards and I'm going to select Floor and Foundation Builder. Again, I will get the welcome screen. I'm going to say Next. And this time, instead of selecting Floor Level, I'm going to select Foundation Level. And I again want to make sure that my Foundation Level or Location is selected. I'm going to say Next. And now we can see that our type of Foundation is going to be allowed to be selected from here. So again, I can select just a wall and a footing. I can select a basement, a slab on grade, or a monolithic. As I select each of these options, you'll notice that some of the buttons become grayed out. This will allow you to select just the components that are relevant to the type of wall that you're going to be adding in. So as you can see when I select wall and footing, only walls and footings are enabled for me to select. When I select basement, all three options are enabled. Slab on grade and monolithic will only be a floor and a footing. And you also notice that I cannot proceed until I actually assign the elements for the type of wall that I'm creating. I want this to be a full basement, so I'm going to select basement and I'm going to select walls. I want this wall to be a concrete, poured concrete wall that is 10 inches thick. I'm going to say OK. I want my floor to be 6 inches thick. And I want my footing to be a 1 foot by 1 foot 8 rectangular solid strip footing. And I say OK. Once I have all three components enabled, I can now click Next. Once again, I can adjust where this wall is going to sit in relation to the walls above. 
Again, I'm going to leave mine so that they just sit flush. I'm going to leave that at zero. But again, you can add in a distance here and add it towards the inside or outside. I'm going to click Next and Finish. And again, now when I go into my foundation plan, I can now see my foundation walls are now drawn with a wall, a footing, and a floor all created on that foundation location. And when I look at it in a 3D view, I can now see my brick walls are on top of a foundation and I have a siding wall above. We hope this tooltip helps you moving forward. If you like what we are creating, be sure to subscribe for future videos. If you have comments, please let us know below. Thank you.